assalamu alaikum dear audience this is a uh, uh, mr wakar ahmed today we are going to discuss one important topic which is a uh, formulating linguistic plans dear audience it should be known to you people that formulation of linguistic plans is not the topic of only one discipline but it is concerned with many disciplines and many disciplines we study it but here we are concerned with the sociolinguistic point of view or perspective of the formulation of linguistic plans. Dear audience, whenever we would go through it from that perspective, then we then we should know about one important topic which would cover our main topic, which is language planning and policy. Dear audience, it is actually formulation of linguistic plan. We need linguistic phenomena in our practical setup of life. Dear audience, these plans are concerned with socio-economic, political and social perspectives. Dear audience, uh, the question arises here that what is language planning? Dear audience, it is planning about language. Uh, language planning is an organized activity in order to solve language problems within a community. Language planning refers to a deliberate language change. Dear audience, it refers to a deliberate efforts to influence the behavior of others with respect to the acquisition, structure, or functional education of their language codes. Dear audience, from this last definition, we derive three things. First, status planning. Number two, corpus planning. Number three, acquisition planning. Dear audience, what is status planning? Dear audience, status planning refers to the allocation of particular distinction or status to a particular language. Mean that here we are giving status to one low level language to a higher level. That means that there are uh, uh, as development in the status of a particular language. For example, giving uh, the status of national language or official language status to a regional language. Dear audience, come to us. Carpus planning. Dear audience, for status planning, we need to do carpus planning as well. Without carpus planning, status planning is almost, you can say, very difficult to be executed. Carpus planning is concerned with the changes in a particular language so that it may fit to the status, to that required status. It means that whenever you give a status to a particular language, you should engineer, you should bring certain changes in the structure, in the words, in the grammar, in the lexemes of a language so that it may perform the very status perfectly and effectively. Your audience, the next comes uh, acquisition planning. It means that after status planning and corpus 